Olivier Giroud scored in France's 2-1 World Cup win over England to become his country's all-time leading goalscorer with 53 goals. The AC Milan striker has now overtaken legendary forward Thierry Henry after he had equaled his record with two goals against Australia in France's World Cup opener. Today, Sportsjet takes a closer look at the astounding career of the one and only Olivier Giroud. Olivier Giroud had humble beginnings as he began playing organised football for his hometown club, Olympique Club de Frogues. He spent six years training at the club before joining professional club Grenoble in the year 1999, at the age of 13. At Grenoble, he spent five years developing in their youth academy before signing his first professional contract in 2005, at the age of 21, playing in the League 2. His time at Grenoble was not particularly impressive as he scored only two goals over two seasons. In order to resurrect his career, Giroud dropped down a league and went out on loan to Istra, playing in the third division of French football. It is here that Giroud truly developed as a striker and he credits manager Frédéric Arpinon for improving his game. He finished the season with Istra with a respectable 14 goals, and his career was finally looking up. However, Grenoble was promoted to the League One while Giroud was out on loan, and upon returning to the club, Giroud realised he had been transfer listed. Grenoble's club manager, Mehmed Bazdarevic, said that Giroud did not have the level to play among the elite. Giroud was deemed surplus to requirements at the club and soon found himself forced out. On 28 May 2008, Giroud found himself back in the League Two with Tours, but this time he was ready to lead the team's attack. He scored 36 goals over two seasons and was even the division's top scorer. Montpellier soon came knocking on his door. A chance for him to shine in French football's Premier Division had finally come. Giroud signed for Montpellier on 1 July 2010 and had a return of 14 goals in his first season and even managed to score against title contenders Marseille and Lyon. It was his second season with Montpellier that really stood out though. Giroud had a total of 30 goal involvements, with 21 goals and 9 assists. He was declared the league's top scorer and was subsequently linked with many clubs all over Europe. Ultimately, it was Arsenal that won the race to sign Giroud. On 26 June 2012, Arsenal paid only £9.6 million to secure his services, much lower than the initial £50 million he was initially valued at. This must seem like an insane bargain by today's standards as Giroud was arguably Arsenal's most consistent performer throughout his time with the club. His 105 goals over the course of five and a half seasons gave Arsenal three FA Cup trophies. He also managed to bag a Puskas award after scoring an outrageous scorpion kick against Crystal Palace. However, towards the latter stages of his Arsenal career, Giroud lost his starting spot to Alexandre Lacazette. Arsène Wenger revealed that Olivier Giroud's determination to play for France at the 2018 World Cup caused him to request for a transfer. In the January transfer window of the 2017-2018 season, Giroud found himself switching from the red to blue side of London as he completed a transfer to Chelsea. Giroud's decision paid off as he managed to start more matches at club level. Didier Deschamps then decided to include him in the 2018 World Cup squad which went on to win football's most coveted prize. Giroud was finally a world champion. That would not be his only major honour that year though, as he also won the Europa League with Chelsea in his first season with the club. Giroud had a relatively mediocre second season with Chelsea as he played 45 games but only managed 13 goals, his lowest tally in a full season with a single club in a decade. However, in his third season with Chelsea, he became champion of Europe as Chelsea won the Champions League. Giroud lasted another season with the club and finished his career at Chelsea with 39 goals over three and a half seasons. On 17 July 2021, AC Milan announced the transfer of Giroud from Chelsea permanently on a two-year contract. He scored 14 goals in his first season with the club to help them win the Serie A title. His consistent performances led to his inclusion in the World Cup squad for Qatar 2022. After scoring four goals for France in the World Cup and bringing his total to 53 goals, he broke the record for most international goals scored for France as he surpassed Thierry Henry's tally of 51 international goals. With France booking their place in the semi-finals of the World Cup and an opportunity to further extend his goal tally, is Olivier Giroud the greatest French striker in history? Or are there better French strikers than him? Let me know down in the comments below.
And as always, remember to subscribe, like and ring that notification bell. This is Sports Jet, signing off.